okay welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ryena. if you're new here i'm glad you clicked on this video because this is not directed for a single person this is a message to everybody anybody who is feeling sad who's feeling alone who's feeling isolated depressed needs motivation needs to figure a way out i just want you to sit here and listen because in this video that i'm about to show you I did not direct a message to anybody but myself. Sometimes we go through hard times and we don't know how to come about a situation or we stumble about multiple situations and we just feel overwhelmed. And that's how I've been feeling. I haven't been too proud of myself. I haven't I haven't given myself a chance to celebrate just all of my successes in life. I've been like that for months. It was sad, but I want you guys to just see this video before I explain anything. And this is me, I'm a little manic coming out of depression sort of thing. So I'm just talking my way through like a child, like the way you would show a child to ride a bike. Funny, I can laugh at myself now. It's only a few days later. My room is cleaner and you'll get that reference if you just continue watching the video. And I just want people to relate. I want people to understand and I want people to feel inspired by what not only I have to say, but these things that we're capable of. We're capable of coming out of these things. We're capable of motivating one another. So with all of that being said, maybe you might not understand where I'm coming from. Maybe you do, but regardless, I really hope somebody learns something from this video. And if you, and just keep watching. Hello, I have a word for the people and I have my ring light on and my room is mess and my room is a mess and I'm coming out of a depression. That thing always comes and goes. I, you gotta face it. I'm facing it and I'm doing my laundry. And I get to say I'm doing my laundry and I turned on the camera so I can say I'm doing my laundry. For, for months since I came back from Miami in March. It is about to be May. I'm about, I'm about to graduate. Graduate. Undergrad. College. Biology major. And I'm trying to be proud of myself. And for a long time, I haven't been proud of myself. So, I'm trying to be motivational. I have a motivational word because I just did something. I did something different today. Not only am I doing my laundry right now, I'm not saying, I haven't done it in two months, but the fact that I haven't done it in two months doesn't matter now. Cause why? I'm doing it today. I'm doing it right now. And this is my third load in the, in the washer right now. And I left the dryer sheets and I just dropped them on the floor, but I don't need them cause the laundry's getting done and they smell good already. They smell great. Hi, my name is Raina and we're getting into wellness teaching myself how to take care of myself again look this morning i used this spray to clean my mirror that was causing me a lot of stress because i use that mirror as my to-do list so i use a erasable marker i write my to-do all my tasks all my homework all everything i ever have to do because my brain moves fast i write it down and every time i don't get it done i leave it there the dirty 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 mirror and I do my makeup in, despite me facing my task, I finally cleaned it today. This one too. This one was just nasty fingerprint. Okay, there's still fingerprints. But it was it was not it was not looking too hot. My desk is a mess, my room is still a mess, but I'm doing my laundry. I'm cleaning my room. I'm saying it in the present tense. It's not something I'm thinking about doing, it's not something I'm stressing about doing. I'm doing it. And often I realize about myself, I like to, I talk a lot, I complain a lot, but you have to do it. And not only that, but once you do it, you can gloat about doing it. I'm calling this gloating. I'm doing it right now. Nobody can tell me I'm dirty because I'm doing my laundry. I'm doing my laundry. I'm cleaning my room. Now, if I chose to stay the slob that I was, which I can say, I guess I'm going to say I was a slob also in your control today i have work at five o'clock and i chose to wake up don't well i wake up early every day and choose to do nothing i watch i stay in my dirty room i don't i don't clean my desk i don't make my bed that's my habits those are my habits you control your habits i've been repeating this i call my sister to try to tell her this 
she didn't answer the phone so i'm recording <clears throat> you control your habits you gotta say it out loud even saying it out loud you control the fact that you said that so now you know you're in control boom what are we getting done today i'm like i'm gonna do my laundry uh i don't really like the sound of that get up do your laundry automatic difference in how your day is gonna go now if i can just teach myself to do this every day i just formed a habit atomic changes i don't clean my room every day i don't i hardly clean my room but if i learn to micro organize dang i'm gonna organize this desk today that desk tomorrow i'm gonna move my clothes out of the way you're gonna have a clean room if you stack up a dollar every day, a dollar is not nothing. It's not going to buy you nothing. But you save $100, $365. That's a habit. That's that's something that doesn't, that's consistent. It's not going to change. So you control your habits. If you decide to not control your habits, that's your habit. You're, you're consistently inconsistent with yourself. And I have been. And I'm not, it's not a blame thing. It's just... You reach a point of trying to realize and source the issue. And I've been in the habit of trying to source the issue that I'll stress about it and never actually handle it. Do it. And it doesn't have to be big steps. You don't have to think long term. I always take it day by day, day by day, hour by hour if you have to. Not only give yourself a break, but give yourselves. Who am I talking to? I don't know, give yourself a break. I'm gonna make it singular because I feel like I wanna talk to myself too. Give yourself a break, not only that, but when you actually complete it, give yourself a treat. It doesn't have to be spectacular. You could take a nap, you could play a video game. Look, every now and then, I'll turn on my switch. 71%, it's one o'clock, I work at five and my clothes are in the dryer. And my room is still messy, but I control my habits and by the time I do a couple days of this, my room is going to be spectacularly clean. I want to treat it like a hotel room. I want it to look nice all the time from this point forward. And in order to do that, I have to get it nice first. So it's going to take some time, but I know I will get it done because I'm going to make it a habit. Now talking like this is only going to motivate you to get it done. If I decide not to get it done, who is to blame myself? That is true, 100%. If it takes a little longer, that's fine. The more consistent I can be with that, the less of a problem it's gonna be because it's gonna be a habit. It's gonna be something I'm used to. I'm too used to laying in this dirty room. I was comfortable like shit, but I was also not worried about it. I had bigger problems for in front of that. So those were the things I chose to face. And now I'm about to face this. I'm about to graduate, school is not stressing me. I'm controlling my life again. So that's why I'm recording. That makes me happy. I'm taking care of myself again a little bit. Little by little, I want to get my eyebrows done. Look, today I sat down. That was the whole point of that conversation. You control your habits. I see myself being a girl who wears a lot of jewelry. I love these piercings and my mom won't let me get any more. So I need to wear more jewelry. So I sat down. I found these bracelets in my messy room. And I said, the girl that I want to be wears bracelets so what did i do i opened the package i took the two bracelets that i like the most and i put them on now boom the sentence has now changed the girl that i see myself being wears bracelets now i'm her i wear bracelets nobody can tell me i don't wear bracelets because i'm wearing bracelets if i wear bracelets every day that is a fact you make that true you control your habits. If I take it off tonight and never put it back on, I don't wear bracelets. That's my, that's what I made myself used to. So I'm going to force habits onto myself until I recognize what I like and what I want to be. As for today, I'm going to feel out these bracelets and I'm going to see if they fit me. I want the smaller one up front, but I made it as tight as I can. So now I know when I ask somebody to help me put this on, I'm gonna tell them specifically, dang, which hoop do you want it on? I want this one tighter. That's what I like. How do you know? Cause I wear bracelets. Now you're developing your character. Mm. 
it's like oh, i feel like a flower today and that's what we are we're growing we're learning our, our traits we're developing we're looking into our dna the dna of our personality the dna of our habits of our minds and so we're just looking into ourselves right now and that's okay because now i'm gonna be a girl with a clean room then by probably two three days from now i'm gonna say i have a clean room my room is clean i haven't been able to say that in a long time dang this is 10 minutes Am I gonna put this on YouTube like this? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raina coming out of depression and we're working for wellness. And it's day by day. Working for wellness day by day. You control your habits, that's the message of the day. Thank you for tuning in. And I am out. So now that you've watched the video where I try my best to just edit out like unnecessary clips or places where I lost my attention for a little and I try my best not to make the intro long because I want to get into all of this I want to further explain why I had to have this conversation with myself and why you might have to have the conversation with yourself too this is obviously more than just being depressed this is kind of a self-discovery I haven't gotten to get into the things that I'm into for a long time I love content creation I want to stay into content creation. I want to make sure I'm focused on me from this point forward, just making myself grow. And all the potential that I used to see in myself is not gone. It's still here. Although tears are coming out of my eyes, that's because I'm reading these notes and I kind of wrote them in affirmations. This whole video was basically a big affirmation. It's just telling yourself, take it one day at a time. You're doing it. It's getting done. I said over over and over again repeatedly, you control your habits. Although it is painful, although it is hard, although it is depressing, sometimes it makes you sad, sometimes you don't feel like doing anything. Trust me, I understand, I've been there. You will reach a point where you are completely tired. You will be tired of how things are going. You will be tired of where things might be headed, but it's hard to try to control your future. The only thing you can control is what you do today. And that's why I made this video. I just wanted everyone to know that you control your habits little by little. And although it may sound harsh and to a degree, it will change your life. I was listening to Jordan Peterson. Matter of fact, I will link the video that caused me to make this video down below. And he just goes into just so many things. And if you're anything like me, I'm so empathetic. Like, I let other people's emotions get to me all the time and you really gotta let yourself feel. You have to learn to be at peace with yourself and the world around you. The world is imperfect and so are we as people. I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. Me making this imperfect video is a perfect example. I'm, I'm only human. We are all human. We are all capable of the same things. The only difference is our circumstances. So you do need to not compare yourself to other people. Compare your success to yourself. Compare yourself today to yourself yesterday. If that is what it will take to make yourself better. And this is all by your own terms. This is also tied into self-discovery for me. If you don't form these habits and you don't get yourself into a routine, who are you? Are you someone that just flows around, that goes wherever wherever fads take us or wherever social media will take us next or wherever tech not like you can't define yourself? My room is cleaner today, my laundry's done. And I'm making this video to say that you can make it through. You will do it. When you feel like there's nobody, your brain needs that encouragement. This is more than this is more than a feeling. This is like, this is literal science. Your brain wants to understand why it's doing the things that it does. And in order to do that, you have to understand it yourself. So we can make these changes happen. We can make these habits possible. And if it's a thing for consistency, you need to understand that you have to work on it. Sometimes you have to face the fact, but when you face the fact, you can change it. I promise you that. So with all that being said, if you can find a source of any problems in your life, take control to fix it. 
by almost any means necessary. Motivate yourself to be the best you. Don't let anybody rain on your parade. Right now, I'm taking baby steps with myself. I'm teaching myself how to care and love for myself. And although that might sound crazy, selfish, egocentric, sometimes that's what it takes to come out of this. And we can do it. Sometimes it doesn't take help. Sometimes it requires just you and God or just you, whatever you may believe in. It's something inside of you that has to that has to make it happen. It's all in your control. And I'm looking right at you. Maybe even for me, I had a laugh at myself in this video because I'm looking at myself like maybe I can get to a point where I won't need a pat on the back for doing my laundry. That might sound embarrassing, but the way I repeated it six, seven times is for a reason. That's where I am at. That's where I was, but I'm happy to say that it's two or three days later and I am not there no more. It's, I want to say it's that easy, but it took a long time to even just get there. But it also damaged my stress because I wasn't treating as much as I was working. So I was more overwhelmed and stressed with schoolwork rather than just getting it done peacefully um, in a timely manner and also treating myself. It was low-key impossible, but at the end of the day, we made it out. So if school is your issue, stay strong. Do not fold under pressure because that's what the world expects you to do. We are strong. We will get through this. If you want to make these changes for yourself, my advice to you, talk to yourself. Sometimes it takes someone inside of you to make it happen, and it's you. For anybody who's going through anything out there, you're not alone. We all go through it, and you have to just sometimes learn to maintain it. And other times, you have to just take a break. I took my break. I'm back. I'm not going to say I'm better than ever, but you know what? I'm here, and I'm functioning because this is my life update. I feel no need to go into any further detail about what I've been through because it is all healing and being worked on. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all it takes. If I can get 1% better every day in 100 days, I'll be almost at 100%. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be 100%. But we're going to work on it. Because nobody's perfect. And we're all working on wellness. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.